Welcome on back to Broncos franchise week six. We are taking on the Los Angeles Chargers at home. Um, yeah, we went through mock draft at the end of last episode. If you didn't see that, we'll go through that quick here. Uh, I'm not going to go through everybody, but lots of outside linebackers and defensive ends going pretty much top 12 picks. And then we get into a quarterback, a tight end, and then right back to linebackers. And yeah, so far they have us taking Corey Whitaker, rounds two to three player. I just kind of went through, favorited a bunch of guys who obviously look good since our uh, scouts kind of effed up and I forgot to set the regions when we first picked them out. So yeah, my bad on that, but um, let's see, I have been doing like, I've been doing like the talent trees and everything for our uh, staff. I've really just been working on the head coach, so myself, uh, and the staff modifications. Just trying to get this all the way up. I did change it. I got all of these and I changed it to um, slower progression, so it costs two times more to upgrade or whatever. So we need 60 instead of 20 for that. Um, so yeah, it it's been a, a little bit to get that upgrade because, you know, those do end up making a big difference at the end. So trying to get that done so that we can get all of our six players during our weekly scouting in. And yeah, we'll go into this team meeting. Let's see what we got today. Let's talk about our opponent. I asked you all to watch film and analyze their weaknesses. What did you see? They struggle with pass blocking. Okay. Good. Any player specifically? How do we attack that? Of course I skipped it, so I don't know who it is. We should blitz their center and overwhelm him. All right. Uh, let's go two sacks. That seems more doable. Well, hopefully we get a nice upgrade if that happens. We'll go through the weekly strategy. And I think we will do... Contain the QB scramble. Hopefully we get enough pressure in there to get on Herbert. And I will go through and do these quick. All right, no injuries for anybody in practice today. Um, end of this game, we should, obviously, we'll figure out uh, what Dennis Hayden is. Uh, we should know about Evan Arnett as well. Yeah, he should be able to get 61 snaps in. Uh, J.R. Fordham, probably same thing. Yep. So, yeah, we'll get to know all of our rookies. And, well, obviously, besides Rollins, uh, since he is injured. But I don't think there's anybody else we need to worry about. Nope, just Forden and... Forden, Arnett, and Hayden. We'll go through our upgrades here. Drew Sanders has one. We will go Field General on him. I don't know what I want to do with Drew Sanders. I do want to keep him. It's 23. Star Dev. But I don't know. I feel like he... He might just be one of those guys that are stuck at Star and won't ever upgrade. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see how the end of the year goes for him. Uh, we are going to rock the... Alternate classics. The Broncos actually just wore those against the Raiders in real life in week six, week five, week five, week six. I don't remember. But man, these things look beautiful in real life. So I feel dumb that we didn't use them at all last season. I'm mad that we're waiting until season two to use them. But yeah, I think the rest of the AFC games, AFC West games that we play. Uh, as long as we're at home, we'll probably wear these, so. 
Because these things are a thing of beauty. And we'll get this kicked off right away. To rice, it looks like. I believe. Yep. Justin Herbert coming out with the offense. Almost 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions so far in the year. Obviously looking to get some sacks on him. Said that really weird, but pretty much we're just going to put our sacks on Herbert today. That pass to the sideline. Broken up for Will Disley, former Bronco. Eh, maybe he wasn't. Seahawks for sure. Maybe I just had him in the franchise once upon a time. Again to Will Disley. Uh, can't even come down with that one. So we were in the vicinity. With Terrell Dodson. Scaring the man. And Ben Rice is going to fair catch that one himself. Bo Nix and company coming out. And we don't know his stats, but they're not good. I know that. I know that that is a fact. They're probably not horrible, but they definitely ain't good. Who do they got here? Chase Young. I forgot that they picked up Chase Young in free agency. Super scary defense here. And Chase Young is injured on the first play. That's beautiful for us. Feel a little more comfortable passing now. Dump that one off to Marvin Mims right away on the slant. Junior Colson getting the stop. Setting us just short of the first. 30 inches. Probably hit Burr coming across the middle here. We will. A little low. Cleo Mack there getting the stop on us. And he's breakdancing out there. Thinking he's in the Olympics. Pass a Dulcich on the drag is caught for four. Go to the rookie Coleman. Coleman getting a nice catch and run up to the 35. Getting his first catch of his career. I did turn down the announcers, but now it feels like I can't hear him at all. And Hayden trying to put it up the middle. Last week he was 28 for 172 and a touchdown. Lots of touches last week. Kind of want to cut that in half, but get the yards still the same. He did have a little bit through the air, too, I do believe. And we're going to lob that one up for Dulcich wide open at the 10. And he's going to get in for a touchdown. I was going to say untouched, but he was touched and just broke the tackle. Beautiful floater from Bo Nix. Beautiful catch. Probably should have just caught it in stride instead of jumping up for it. But Dulcich catch and run for the touchdown. Herbert, fourth in the league with passing touchdowns at 12. J.J. McCarthy having a comeback season with 15 already. I mean, shit, I could probably throw 15 if I had Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison as my receivers. Yeah, I believe that's still... Oh, it's Damian Pierce. I was going to say, I thought that was J.K. Dobbins still, but Damian Pierce getting a nice 10-yard, 12-yard run there. And he's going to run it right up the middle. We missed the truck stick with Dodson last week for Pierce. He was 16 for 77. No touchdowns. And JOK got in there to get the stop on him at least. And we're right there. The switch stick needs to stop, dude. How many times do I need to turn this off? I've turned it off in the main menu. 
It, it just needs to be disabled forever. Let me hit sick man. Let me cause a fumble. Let me get a, a, a scoop and score, man. Or we just miss the tackle completely. Whatever. Ah, this game's stressing me out. Why are we jumping? Holy shit, dude. What are we jumping for? We did trade for Miles Murphy. I forgot to bring that up. So yeah, that's why he's on the team. We traded for him. And Quinn and Johnson with the 25 yard catch there. Sets him up in the red zone at the 16. They're going to run it with Pierce. We're going to lay a big hit with Dodson there. Down at the 18, gain of 8, second and 2. Down at the 8, gain of 8, second and 2. Sack him! What? what are we doing? Herbert taking off. What's the point of containing the QB scramble if we're just going to let him scramble? Herbert with the rushing touchdown. Ties it up seven. All right. Let's see what our offense can do here. Obviously got the touchdown last drive. Gonna replicate and our net's just gonna sit right in our hole. Pause, but do something else, man. Anything but sitting in my hole. Yeah, we're just gonna get sacked. Marvin Mims was coming across wide open. Oh, I'm pissed. Or maybe it was Troy Franklin, I don't know. Yeah, it was Troy Franklin. A little screen to Hayden. There is a flag. Probably holding. What else would it be with this team? Yeah. Bring us back another 10 yards. Holy shit. Fourth and five or third and... Uh, they're going to give us fourth and five at our own 35. Obviously not going to go for it, but... Matt Ariza. Shit punt. Yeah, it's going to set the Chargers up at the R37. Their own 37, not ours. Quinn and Johnson so far, 21 for 415, I think it said. I was trying to see if it said season or last week. I was like, God damn, he had a career game last week. But yeah, it's for the season. Yeah. This man just doing squats with our linebacker. What the hell's going on here? And Herbert taking off. Trying to lay a boom with JOK. We got Oregon quarterback versus Oregon quarterback here. I know we had it twice last season, but just kind of playing two, two and two together now. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. Score is tied 7 all. Jump! Thankfully, that McConkey has cornerback hands and can't catch shit. Still don't understand what, what, what we're doing. Freaking jump, my guy. Alright, Chase Young back in. No, he's not. Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa on the edges. Dennis Hayden getting a nice five yards there. Second and five. Let's try and keep it on the ground with him. Actually. We got Dulcich wide open right here. We're going to hit him. Little low, but he catches it. Breaks a tackle. He's wide open. Uh, he was wide open. 
He's going to take that one in for his second touchdown today. This one coming out a, what, 65-yard pass? Something. Kick is up and good. We'll go up by 7, 7 to 14. 79 yards was the total there. Rice on the return. Taken down at the 26. Damian Pierce so far, 99 for 3, 87 and 4 touchdowns on the year. And we're in the backfield, but we spin the opposite way. I don't know why. Baron Browning there getting the tackle on him. Man, seems stressing me out already. Stop jumping! Dude, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Holy shit. D like, if it was a fake snap, sure. I could see us jumping, but... It's not! We literally all get up to the line, and my guy's like, Whoo! Wh why? If it happens again this game, we're turning the slider back down. She's driving me nuts. That one to Will Disley, JOK there, getting a big hit at the 30. And it's gonna be fourth and seven. Los Angeles gonna punt. Rice, a fair catching. D doesn't even give me a chance to return. I'd rather take the hit and fumble than fair catch every fucking punt you send my way. The juke it outside, gain a, the, maybe an extra yard there. I don't know. Gain a 12 up to the 36 now. Uh, Troy Franklin had a little bit of space there. Joey Bosa in the backfield bias. Causes the pressure, forcing that one into the dirt. Throw this one up for Franklin. Franklin comes down with it inside the red zone at the 19. Huge play from Knicks to Franklin. Hand off to Hayden. Breaking a tackle, bouncing it back inside, gain a five, second of five. And this one probably going to Franklin again. Let's see what happens with him and Nope, oh, well <sighs> Almost picked off by Kohu. I thought we had a touchdown with Coleman there. Shoot this one out to Dulcich. Runs a man over. Joey Bosa right there taking us down at the four. Nine for 11, 212, and two touchdowns today. Throwing for Bo Nix. Hayden, nowhere to go. Loss of two there. Back to the six, second and goal. Uh-oh, Joey Bosa in the zone. Yeah, he'll pick up the two yards that he lost there. Third and goal. Look to get this one to Coleman. And he just kept running. He didn't even stop. He's wide open in space there. We're going to roll out and... Holy shit. Fumble. Alright. Stupid mistake by me. I was more or less hoping to just throw that one away, but... Whatever. Pat Sertan getting back there after the help from Shaq Leonard. Getting the loss of two on Damian Pierce. 
Looks like another run here. It's not. It's a quick pass to Makaki. Tipped. Caught. By this little white boy, number 31. JOK in pursuit. Can't catch up. Who the f*** is that? John LaVey. Or John Lovett. Kaki with the catch, Sertan with the hit, causing the deflection, and John LaVey. I'm gonna call him LaVey because it just sounds cooler. With the with the catch off the tip and takes that one to the house. I, I don't even have words. This might have been the coolest thing I've seen in this entire Madden. You can figure that out, but you can't figure out how to can fix a screen or tell somebody that their player's injured. And Harold breaking a couple tackles up to the 43. All right. Let's try and go back up here before half. Pass interference! What? You're not going to call that? Holy shit. I'm going to pass out from how much yelling I'm doing this game. Stopped in the backfield, loss of one. Third and 11. Just sling that one out to Dulcich. Caught. 2.07 left on the clock. That's going to bring us to the two minute warning. I thought the clock would stop, but I guess not. 14 all. Two minute warning here before halftime. Dulcich in the zone. Barnett needs to break off of that sooner and get that. Get that linebacker. Troy Franklin injured, but we wouldn't know because they don't give us fucking call outs anymore. Dulcich. Can't come down with it. Pass broken up by Junior Colson. Really one incomplete pass to him and it's he's out of the zone already. Whatever, dude. Just score the touchdown, man. Wide open. Nice little floater up to Dulcich again. Peck stream. Whatever. Stay out, pussy. Sorry. I'm I'm on one today, bro. This game's stressing me out. Made a 47 left in the half. We go back up by seven. Herbie and crew back out here to shit on us. It's gonna be a run with Dobbins. Nope. Nope. It's a sack by Baron Browning. One more and we meet our goal this week. It's kind of exactly what we needed. Pass to five. I don't know who that is. Josh Palmer, maybe, still. Here, Elam on Will Disley. Getting the stop. After the first down to the 48. That's another sack for us. And that was pretty much exactly what we needed. Causing them to f use their final timeout. And that completes our goal this week of two sacks. So we'll get whatever reward is going to be given out for that. Here, Elam back there. Jump it up, getting the pick over Trey Palmer. Josh Palmer, not Trey Palmer. Trey Palmer's in Tampa. Was. I don't know if he still is, dude. Yeah. Too many players have to say blast Dave, though. Over Josh Palmer. This one up for Mims. Comes down with it. Derwin James on the cover. Sure, I thought he picked it. But Marvin Mims just muscles it in.
Juking it back inside. Hayden with a nice gain of five. We're not going to run hurry up, but technically is running hurry up because it doesn't take any clock. We'll throw this one up for Mims. Catching it in stride. Down within the red zone. It was in the 10, down at the six. This could be huge for us. Try and hit Coleman here. Actually, frick it. We might just run it with Hayden. Won't even lie, I tried to swing that one out to Coleman, but it didn't work. That went up for Coleman. Can't come down with that. I thought we had a second left. Oh, man. 14-21 is your halftime score. We're just going to keep running it inside. And we are going to defend the short pass on Herbert there. We'll get the ball to start the second half. Ben Rice on the return. Yeah, just get stuck on your dude's fucking ass. Whatever. Pass it. Dulcich caught for 15 up to the 44. Coleman on the sideline, broken up by some white boy. Might have been mixed. I'm not trying to be racist, but... He's a safety, never mind. I thought he was a corner. That went up to Mims. Can't come down with it. So he holds on to it when Derwin James hits him, but, you know, this little white boy comes in and touches him and he drops it. Interesting. Has to been rice incomplete, thank God, because it was into like triple coverage and it probably would have been picked. Areza with the punt. And out of bounds at the 15, we'll take it. Alright, let's see what they have for us now. It looks like another run. Damian Pierce. Okay, it's going to be a pass. Pass out to Gerald Everett. Gain of 2 to the 17. Abram Strain with the pass deflection. Lab McConkey was the intended receiver. I thought we picked that off. Surprised that lad has superstar dev. Flag, please be holding. Thank God, man. We're gonna decline that, make him punt it. Whatever. I'll take you at the 35, I guess. Troy Franco with the catch across the 50 to the 47. Chase Young back in. Yeah. I don't know who number six is. Dump that one down to Hayden, get in the first. So I like got into the zone there and I just Forgot to commentate for anything. <laughs> Hit that comeback with Franklin. Perfect. Down within the red zone at the 18. 
17 for 26, 409, and three touchdowns through the air for Bo Nix today. Beautiful numbers. Evan Arnett actually picking up a decent block. But it didn't matter because there were 20 guys there and he just chose to actually block the right one, but then everybody else crashed in on us, so. Alright. Gain a three on the first play, gain a two on the second. Set us up third and five. Let's go right back to the ground game. Gain of one. Let's go hurry up. I would like to score here. Whatever. Sets him up at the 11. I'm kind of okay with that. Their defense has been super solid today. And now that I say that, they're probably going to give up a one play touchdown here. Right on cue. Will Disley, huge catch and run up to the 47. Getting a 36 on that one. Damian Pierce getting a piggyback ride or playing leapfrog with Bobby Brown. Quick pass to Josh Palmer, breaking tackles. Up to 30. A little bit overthrown for Quinn Johnston. Two minutes left here in the third. End around with Lab McConkey. Can, can tackle him. 32. They're going to pick up the first with that one. With Damian Pierce. Pass to Will Disley, JOK in coverage. Fortunate a little knockout there. Not really, just the pressure got to him. Jordan Poyer in coverage. Can't get to it. I believe that was Gerald Everett with the touchdown. They're going to tie it up 21-21 with just over 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And we'll see what our offense can do here. Ben Rice up to 30-28. I can read numbers. So went out to Coleman making a diving catch. The rookie. Undrafted. I believe he was undrafted. I picked him up in free agency. Might have gone to a team and they just dropped him. But he's doing decent so far in his first actual game. This will be the end of the third. 21 all. Kind of struggling on the run game. Which I, I don't. I know why. I mean, they got Chase Young, Khalil Mack, and freaking Joey Bosa on their line. I feel like anybody would struggle against that. Even though they're more... They're, they're all kind of pass rushers, but... Whatever, dude. Whatever tickles your fancy. Keep Coleman on a slant, bring Mims on a drag, and 
Joey Bosa just blows up our backfield. Fourth and nine. We are going to punt this one. Almost blocked it. Here, Elam laying a big hit. Rice didn't even budge. Run with Pierce to the left. And a gain of three, second and seven. So, you motherfucker. See, like there, I could understand, right? There's a f f fake snap. I can see us jumping. But if, when we get right up to the line, and we're just jumping for no fucking reason, then I get pissed. Ah, we popped the ball out! Chris Ames dream with the knockout and JR Ford and the rookie diving on it. That was very much needed. I'd rather just run at Bosa instead of freaking Young and Mac. And Hayden with the nice 10 yards. Picking up the first. We're just going to have to keep it through the air. We're not getting much of anything on the ground. I mean, that one we got lucky and bounced it out, but... Otherwise, it's pretty much... It's holding. It's holding. Yep. I swear this game is just out to... Out to get the user and just screws us over. Aiden with the catch. Sets us back up second and ten. Ooh, Khalil Mack almost making a diving pick. So when a Dulcich wide open, just going down at the 45. He has eight receptions for 211 yards today. And two touchdowns. That's freaking crazy. Coleman getting hit. Dropping the catch. And the Mims with the catch for the first up to the 43. Holy shit. Dennis Hayden getting blown up and that ball went flying out of bounds. Ooh. Kinchins. Almost getting a pick there. At least with the pass deflection. That one underneath the Franklin. Trying to hit a spin move. Taking it out at the 27. Another first and 10 here. And the Mims tipped, caught by Franklin. He did just as surprised as I was. Didn't even move at all after he caught it, but down inside the red zone now at the 11. Oh, little jumping on it. I should have just held on to it. I shouldn't have even tried to throw it.
Gain of nothing, Junior Colson. Big stop in the backfield. Third and 18. Pass straight to zero. Henley. Thankfully didn't catch it either. We'll take a three point lead here. 21-24. Just over two minutes left in the game. Herbert coming back out. Pass broken up by Chris Ames Drain making a diving effort. Landed on his back for a little bit. If freaking Everett would have gone and made that, like picked it up and shit, I would have turned the game off. Another breakup for Chris Ames Drain. Is that Everett? Turn around. Let me see your name, Bucko. I'm going to keep saying Everett. It's probably going to be somebody completely different. Josh Palmer with the catch, picking up the first. Los Angeles desperately needed that one. Here, Elam on Labakanki. Can't get the pass break up, and they're going to go hurry up here. Again, Labakanki. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want... Go overall. I don't know what they're matched up by right now, but we'll go overall. You're telling me Josh Palmer's the best receiver on their team right now? Yeah, right. That might be accurate, but Vlad McConkey's a superstar. I'd assume that he's a higher overall than Palmer, no? Yeah. Sertan's over there now. Okay. Makes me feel a little bit better about the receiving core. We're going to use a timeout. Third and goal. If we can home to a field goal here, that'd be huge. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Whew. Fourth and goal. See if they go for it. They don't. This could be a field goal. Potential block for Riley Moss here. Could seal the game. I thought we had it. 24-24. Whoa, don't let me skip, brother. 22 for 71 for Dennis Hayden today. We're probably not putting it on the ground anymore. Just going to launch it through the air. 51 seconds left, 24 all. No. Holy shit. I thought it was just one guy. I was like, oh, we can do that. And another guy just spawned out of nowhere. I was like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> All right, let's see. I, I just don't know how fast Coleman is. That's my issue here. We'll take off with Nick's. We're going to slide. Pick up nine, ten. 13 inches now, 37 seconds left. Keep it on the ground with Hayden. He'll pick up the first. We'll take our second time out. Just needed a new set of downs and we were fine. Just out of reach, a little low for Coleman. I held it too long. Franklin and Dulcich are kind of going to be our go-tos here. And we got Franklin over the middle. Can't come down with it. Hit by 32. I need that ball to be slung, brother. Throw that up for Ben Rice. Can't come down with it. 14 seconds left. We are going to have to punt. We can't even go for it because they can just kick a field goal off. They get a pass breakup. Should have done a sky kick, I think. Rice on the return. 
Taken down at the 35. Riley Patterson is their kicker. They need to get up to the 35. For any sort of kick attempt. Uh, Quinn and Johnston. Holy shit. They just did it, man. Very call a timeout. Try and ice them. Riley Moss with the putt, with the block. And they're going to pick it up. Holy shit, the white man can jump. That'll bring us into overtime. 24-24 is your regulation score. Chargers are going to select heads. They lose the toss. We are going to elect to receive. First, if it's a touchdown, game's over. Field goal. Other team has a chance to go and score. Hopefully, uh, it's Harrell. Harrell has some space. Breaks a tackle. Open space for Harrell. Taking the opening kickoff into the end zone for a touchdown. First kickoff return for the Broncos. In the last two seasons. It's an overtime winner against the Los Angeles Chargers. Beautiful. It's been a real back and forth battle, but nice to have back to back wins here. Uh, let's take a look at some of these stats. 23 for 41, 488 yards and three touchdowns, no interceptions for Bo Nix. Justin Herbert, 15 for 26, 354, two touchdowns and one interception through the air. Rushing, uh, Dennis Hayden, 23 for 72, no touchdowns, one fumble. Uh, Damian Pierce, 13 for 55, also one fumble, no touchdowns. Uh, receiving, I do want to see their receivers too. Dulcich, 8 for 2, 11 and 3 touchdowns. That's a career game for him. Troy Franklin, 5 for 105, no touchdowns. Josh Palmer, 4 for 49. Marvin Mims, 4 for 103. Will Disley, Quinn Johnston. Paul Stewart is number 7, not Gerald Everett anymore. Lam McConkey, 2 for 53. I felt like he had a lot more, but he definitely had a lot of targets. Does it say how many? No. Vernon Coleman, the rookie, 2 for 31. Mark Burr, 1 for 9. Uh, defensively, we have 1.5 sacks for Baron Browning, half a sack for Bobby Brown. 1 interception for Kier Elam. Forced fumble from Abram Strain. Fumble recovery from J.R. Forden. Beautiful game for the Broncos. I mean, it was a little, little sketch towards the end, but... Yeah, we, we made the overtime play. I was a little nervous with Harrell there. I was like, oh, or Harrell. We'll say Harrell. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't think he was going to run that back. He's got 97 speed, though. Picked him up in free agency, of course. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. But yeah, I'd, I'd always rather have 99 speed. Freaking Ben Rice taking that out, but... Harold just proved me wrong. We did get the two sacks we needed on Herbert. I think he said that he's disappointed. Don't know why. He, he did what you wanted to do. This game is bullshit sometimes, I swear. Uh, let's see here. I want to show you guys the trade I did. Let me see here. Where do we go? Lead transactions, yeah. Uh, trades. Juwan Jackson and a fifth rounder for Darius Tony. Uh, let's see. What did we do? 
we gave up Jahan Dotson, Nick Bonito, AJ Dillon, um, a fifth rounder this year for a third rounder this year, and Miles Murphy. So that was that trade. This trade. I think you guys saw me do that. I don't even know. I don't know. But yeah, that was the trade you missed. I'll have the screenshot up on screen too, so. Offensive coordinator. Bo Nix and Troy Franklin at big charity events this week for my cause, my cleats. You interested in attending either? Uh, access clean water for communities. Is a voter participant. Let's go clean water for yeah sure charity I like getting a little different dialogue in here than the last couple years You're a leader. I know you didn't need a babysitter. Oh. Apparently he does need a babysitter. Alright. So. Let's see what uh, dev traits we got now. <laughs> Dennis Hayden's only a star, bro. I thought he was going to be at least superstar. Evan Arnett's only a star, too. J.R. Ford and star. That's kind of expected, but they're all stars. Kind of makes me mad because we go and look at the Texans who I mean, at that point, do we just keep freaking Javante, you know? Keep Javante, draft Hayden as well. Or wait and pick up Tyler Nash, who's already a superstar. I mean, we know he's a superstar. I went and made a little changes on him, too. I just gave him a little bit. A little bit of some swaggery. But we already took a look at him. He's a superstar. Which is why we thought, you know, and he's a year younger than Dennis Hayden. He's 21. Dennis Hayden's 22. I mean, he's an 80, but uh, Dennis Hayden's an 82. But I feel like if we keep having big games with Dennis Hayden, he'll easily get up. Um, I am going to go around and look for a couple trades for, like, a couple of these guys that we have contracts expiring on, like Julian McLaughlin. He's 24. We don't really need him. Uh, but he is a star dev, and hopefully we can get a little bit out of him. Kier Elam, maybe we get rid of him. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe start going with Riley Moss more. I don't know. But yeah. A couple of these guys I... Maybe Shaq Leonard. I don't know. A couple of these guys I just kind of want to get out of here. And yeah, mostly Jaleel McLaughlin now that, you know, our third down back is going to pretty much just be Dennis Hayden, but... Uh, we should be good to skip this week and still be able to trade next. I think trade deadline's week 9. Do have a linebacker breakout. Wonder who that's for. We'll find out next episode. But yeah, I am going to change the title for, or like the... Yeah, I think we're going to change like the title for this episode. Let me know what you guys think if you like. Um, where I show like the season, like season 2 week... Six gameplay um, instead of episode 25, I believe this one would be 26. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'll also put a poll out on X so you can go vote there. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you till the next one. Stay cool. Peace.